Nestled in the vibrant heart of Southeast Asia lies the Philippines, a country brimming with diversity and irresistible charm. Picture this, a collection of over 7,600 islands surrounded by shimmering turquoise waters, each offering its own slice of tropical paradise. From its world-famous beaches to the lush green mountains, the natural beauty here is nothing short of breathtaking. But it's not just the scenery that captures hearts. The Philippines thrives on its love for karaoke, a national obsession, and basketball, with courts tucked into nearly every neighborhood. Beyond the fun and games, this nation is on the rise, an emerging economic powerhouse in Asia, bursting with potential. It's also unique as the only predominantly Christian country in the region, with a proud cultural identity. Alongside its Christian majority, there's a dynamic Muslim community, primarily in Mindanao, which adds even more richness to its heritage. However, the Philippines isn't just making headlines for its culture or economic growth. Recently, it's found itself at the center of global attention due to its territorial dispute with China, a geopolitical struggle that has raised concerns about potential conflict. Some even say the Philippines sits at the crossroads of a possible future flashpoint. Yet beyond the complex geopolitics, there's an even deeper story hidden within this nation. One that rewrites human history itself. Did you know the Philippines has been home to archaeological discoveries that stunned scientists? These finds have offered glimpses into an ancient past, revealing chapters of history that had long been forgotten. Interestingly, while most written records about the Philippines begin with the arrival of the Spaniards, the story doesn't start there. This land had a rich tapestry of culture, literature, and history long before colonization. Tragically, much of that was erased by the religious zeal of the Spanish colonizers, who destroyed early records in their quest for dominance. What remains of pre-Spanish history relies heavily on accounts from neighboring countries that interacted with these islands. But thanks to the tireless work of modern scientists and archaeologists, those lost stories are slowly resurfacing. With every discovery, a new piece of the puzzle is unveiled, giving us a clearer picture of this country's extraordinary past. So, let's dive into these astonishing revelations that have left researchers and the world absolutely amazed. On the northern island of Luzon, in the Philippines, researchers stumbled upon an incredible discovery that might rewrite the story of human history. They uncovered stone tools and rhinoceros bones dating back an astonishing 709,000 years, long before modern humans even existed. This groundbreaking find, centered around a butchered rhino, has shaken the scientific community and turned previous theories about human migration in Asia upside down. Until now, experts believe the first humans arrived in the Philippines roughly 67,000 years ago. But in the Cagayan Valley, an archaeological dig unearthed the nearly complete skeleton of a rhinoceros, accompanied by a treasure trove of 57 stone tools. These tools included 49 razor-sharp flakes, six stone cores, and two suspected hammer stones. What's even more fascinating is that 13 of the rhino's bones displayed distinct cut marks, and its humerus bones had been intentionally cracked open, most likely to extract the nutritious marrow hidden inside. This evidence paints a vivid picture of ancient hunters skillfully using tools to strip meat from the rhino's bones. So. Who were these early toolmakers? Many researchers point to Homo erectus, the first hominin species to venture out of Africa as the likely culprits. But here's the catch. No hominin fossils have been found alongside the tools or bones. This leaves us with tantalizing questions. Who exactly were these early people? And how did they even get to the Philippines? The most plausible scenario suggests that they unintentionally arrived on natural floating rafts made of tangled mangroves, which could have broken away from mainland Asia during typhoons or tsunamis. An alternative, though less probable, theory proposes the idea that they might have utilized primitive boats to journey to the islands. 
In April 2019, a discovery rocked the scientific world. A new human relative was unearthed in the Philippines. Meet Homo luzonensis, a distant cousin of modern humans whose fossils were found deep inside Kalao Cave on the island of Luzon. This wasn't just any find. It was the result of years of dedication by an international team of archaeologists. And it's one of the most exciting discoveries in recent history. Why does this matter so much? Because it completely reshapes how we understand human evolution. What we once thought was a relatively simple story has become a fascinating web of twists and turns. Instead of a straight line, our ancestral tree is now more like a vibrant jungle filled with unique species and unexpected surprises. And here's the kicker. Homo luzonensis may have made an epic journey from Africa to Southeast Asia, challenging everything we thought we knew about ancient human migration. The remains, which include 13 fragments, teeth, bits of a femur, and hand and foot bones, are estimated to be between 50,000 and 67,000 years old. They represent at least three individuals, both adults and juveniles, from a lineage that's distinct from Homo sapiens. What's mind-blowing is the combination of traits found in Homo luzonensis. Some features are strikingly similar to modern humans, while others are reminiscent of much older ancestors, like the Australopithecines and early members of the Homo genus. Here's where it gets even more fascinating. Their curved finger and toe bones suggest they were expert climbers, a skill they likely retained from their ancient roots. But this raises a burning question. How did Homo luzonensis develop such a unique mix of traits? And who were their ancestors? Right now, science has no definitive answers. Adding to the mystery are stone tools and butchered rhinoceros remains discovered on Luzon, dating back over 700,000 years. Could these artifacts have been left by the predecessors of Homo luzonensis? Or do they hint at an entirely different group of ancient humans? We simply don't know yet. And there's more. Homo luzonensis didn't exist in isolation. During their time, they shared the planet with other remarkable hominin species, like the Neanderthals, Denisovans, and the tiny Homo floresiensis from nearby Flores Island. Imagine that, an ancient world teeming with diverse human relatives, each carving out their own unique path. Among all the ancient hominin species, only Homo luzonensis managed to survive and adapt to its environment. But why? What gave this species the edge over the others? This discovery doesn't just expand our knowledge of evolutionary history. It raises intriguing questions about how these ancient human relatives interacted and what ultimately determined their fates. Now. Here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Imagine a plant with the superpower to eat metal. Yes, you heard that right. It can literally absorb toxic metals from the soil without harm. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's very real, and it was discovered in one of the most biologically diverse places on Earth, the Philippines. This incredible plant named Rhinorrhea nicolifera was first found in May 2014. Its unique ability to absorb nickel, a toxic metal, while thriving in polluted soil could revolutionize the way we think about environmental cleanup. Picture this. Instead of struggling to clean up areas damaged by mining, we could plant these hyperaccumulators to naturally detoxify the soil. And when it's time to harvest, we could extract the metal directly from their leaves. Talk about a game-changer for the environment, but it doesn't stop there. This plant could even pave the way for more sustainable mining practices. Instead of tearing up the earth, we could grow fields of these plants, harvest them, and extract metals in a way that's both efficient and eco-friendly. Imagine the profound impact this could have on our planet. Preserving ecosystems, reducing pollution, and giving us a greener future. Yet as groundbreaking as this discovery is, it comes with a sobering challenge. Renoria nicolifera is teetering on the edge of extinction. This botanical treasure, with its unparalleled potential to transform industries and heal our environment, 
may vanish if we don't take action to protect it. So, here's the question. Will we seize this opportunity to harness its incredible abilities while preserving it for generations to come? Or will this marvel of nature become just another lost chapter in Earth's history? The answer lies in what we choose to do next. Across the world, ancient cave art sparks wonder and curiosity, and the Philippines is no different. Among its most fascinating treasures lies the Angono petroglyphs, a stunning collection of over 120 carvings etched into a rock wall in Angono Rizal. Picture this, an expansive rock canvas about 63 meters wide and 5 meters tall, filled with the echoes of a time long past. These carvings, thought to have adorned a makeshift rock shelter for ancient communities, reveal a glimpse into life during the Neolithic Age, around 2500 BC. Unearthed alongside these engravings were shards of earthenware and ancient stone tools, offering more clues about the lives of the people who once inhabited this site. Remarkably, these petroglyphs are considered the oldest known artworks in the Philippines, cementing their place in the country's rich history. UNESCO suggests that these intricate carvings may have held deeper meanings, symbolizing rituals for healing and sympathetic magic. Imagine ancient humans gathered around, channeling their hopes and prayers into these figures to ward off sickness. What's even more intriguing is the variety of styles seen in the engravings, hinting that these carvings were likely a collective effort, a story told by many hands. Back then, before spoken languages bridged communication, symbols became the voice of the people. These carvings were more than just art. They were messages, emotions, and beliefs etched into stone for eternity. To protect this extraordinary piece of heritage, the Philippine government declared the Angono petroglyphs a national cultural treasure in 1973, shielding it from vandalism and the wear of time. Today, as you stand before these ancient carvings, it's impossible not to feel a connection to those who came before us. Their story, carved in stone, continues to speak across the ages. Isn't it incredible how art keeps the past alive? In 1986, a surprising discovery near the mouth of the Lumbang River unveiled a piece of history that would rewrite what we knew about the Philippines' past. Known as the Laguna Copperplate Inscription, this artifact holds the title of the earliest historical document in the Philippines, and it's the only pre-Spanish record found to date. Imagine stumbling upon a thin sheet of copper, just 7 by 12 inches when unrolled, covered in intricate text written in Kavi, an ancient Javanese script. What makes it even more fascinating? This wasn't a love poem or a song. It was a legal document, a pseudopatra, essentially a receipt proving the settlement of a debt. The story it tells is both simple and remarkable. It records the cancellation of a debt in gold. About one kati and eight swarna, equivalent to 865 grams, belonging to a man named Namwaron. The document, in turn, was handed over to his daughter, Ankatan, securing her freedom from that obligation. It's a vivid snapshot of how ancient Filipinos conducted business long before Spanish colonization. Fast forward to 2011, another incredible find surfaced in Mount Kamhantik, Quezon Province. Archaeologists from the National Museum unearthed 15 limestone tombs within a 280 hectare protected area. These tombs, dating back to 890 to 1030 AD, revealed a 1,000-year-old village buried beneath the soil. But here's the kicker. These weren't just any tombs. These limestone coffins were unlike anything previously found in the Philippines, showcasing a more advanced form of burial ritual. Although simpler than the ornate sarcophagi of ancient Egypt, the Philippine limestone coffins once had lids adorned with pre-colonial patterns. Tragically, by the time archaeologists arrived, treasure hunters had looted much of the site, stealing lids, skeletons, and artifacts that might have offered even greater insights into this ancient civilization. Nonetheless, what remained was extraordinary. Earthen jars, metal objects, 
human and animal remains, and undeniable proof of a thriving, sophisticated culture that existed well before foreign influence shaped the region. These discoveries highlight a society that was not only advanced in its practices, but also rich in tradition and innovation. The Philippines isn't just a paradise of breathtaking landscapes. It's a treasure trove of history, waiting to reveal the secrets of its past. What do you think about these discoveries? Don't they make you wonder how much more lies hidden beneath the surface, waiting for us to uncover?